Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, uh, welcome back to our cooking video. Um, I know it's been a while since we posted, uh, but we've just been taking a little time off for the summer. So I'm sure you guys understand, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, today, a uh, real easy, quick video, just like all of them. Today we are making- uh, Chicken and broccoli. Char yeah, Charlie's favorite, chicken and broccoli, okay? From a Chinese American restaurant. Okay, so uh, normally chicken and broccoli is just pretty much chicken and broccoli with like a soy sauce, uh, sauce. Uh, but today we're just gonna add a couple more vegetables to it. We're gonna do chicken, broccoli, mushrooms, and scallion, okay? Um, so we have our chicken breasts, our wok, soy sauce, baking soda. I know that sounds weird. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, corn starch for the slurry and uh, chicken breast, uh, broccoli, broccoli stem. Uh, you always said broccoli. Oh, okay, button mushrooms, scallions, garlic, and ginger, okay? So let's do the uh, chicken first. So we're gonna slice the chicken. Because chicken's always first because it's chicken. And then chicken broccoli. and then broccoli. Okay, so this is just an organic chicken breast. Okay, we'll take the tenderloin off. Um, okay, we'll just cut it up into bite-sized pieces. All right, put it in a bowl, and I'll show you a trick. Yeah. Okay. Chicken with Yeah, I'll show you a trick too. Okay, to make your chicken nice and tender, and when you see it cooked you'll uh, realize, you'll be like, oh wow, that, that's why it looks the way it does, like from your local Chinese restaurant, okay? And also, okay, so nice and thin. Don't worry about cutting it against the grain. It's like a tender product, okay? And so thin like that is fine, yeah, okay? Yeah, and also if you're a vegetarian. If you're a vegetarian, you can use tofu, right? Yeah. All the Chinese uh, American restaurants usually offer uh, vegetarian options. Tofu and broccoli. Yeah. Okay, so chicken breast goes there. All right, beautiful. We'll take our glove. We'll get rid of our cutting board and our dirty knife that's been tainted with chicken. Put it over here. Okay. Okay, so. What are we gonna use for a cutting board then? Uh, we'll use our other cutting board. Or we'll just use this cutting board. Okay, Um. so, oh. So for one chicken breast, that was like a, I don't know, maybe like a one, no, probably a six ounce chicken breast. That'll be fine for all of us. We like to um, kind of eat more vegetables than the meat. Um, I would say about a tablespoon of baking soda, uh, maybe half a tablespoon. So what this does is it kind of um, tenderizes the meat, okay? And keeps it nice and moist, okay? If you want to learn the science behind it, just uh, look it up on Google. This is not with this channel. I don't want to really get into that part. It's a lot of a lot of words. Okay. All right. So just make sure your chicken breast is uh, the baking soda is incorporated into the chicken breast. All right, and then let it hang out for a little bit. Okay. All right. Now we have our. Right, this is our tainted there. So we'll put that here. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, cut all the vegetables. Okay, we washed these previously. Let's cut these here. Okay, everything like into chopstick friendly pieces. Okay. And Charlie, you helping me? Oh yeah. Okay. Can you peel the garlic for me? Uh, okay, I'll just cover my eyes. The, the, it's not the garlic that har har hearts your eyes. It's the uh, gin uh, onions. No. Okay, so ginger. Uh, for ginger, the way that I use it, like I said, Charlie doesn't love ginger. So I just, I'll just smash it and use it for flavoring in the oil. Okay, all right, I guess I'm peeling the garlic today. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Chicken. Chuck. Chuck. Okay, Charlie's making our prep list while we're working. Okay. Let me do it. How's it spell chicken? Chicken. Why don't you sound it out? C H. Uh huh. I. Uh huh. K. 
almost shit. Yeah, good job. All right, garlic, uh, just nice slices is fine. You don't have to cut it too Hi. small. Another line? Mm, almost. What is A? E, chicken. And what's the last one? Last, last uh, letter. Ch. Ch. Okay, so let's get this started. Uh, let's start on the lower heat. Yeah, good job. All right, let's start on a lower heat. So I have it at two out of 10. So it's at like medium low. Oh, we're also gonna use some mirin for sweetness. This mirin is uh, got alcohol flavor, but also uh, it's a, there's some cornstarch in it too, okay? Um, and salt, okay? So be careful about seasoning. Um, and then uh, we we'll use vegetable oil in here. Okay, vegetable oil's got a little bit higher of a smoke point. So whenever I make food like this, my wife wants me to not use as much oil, okay? So remember, oil expands when it's hot. So we'll use a little bit less oil, okay? So we'll get it nice and aromatic with the garlic and the onion, or the garlic and the uh, ginger, okay? All right, beautiful. So let's put the mushrooms in here. Okay, and then we'll put the scallion over here. And I know, like, I'm sure if you've seen like wok videos and stuff, it's like super high heat, and that's fine, I get it. Um, but when you're cooking at home, uh, you don't have the BTUs to do it properly, anyways. So we're just gonna make it taste really good. That's our main goal. Okay. So the broccoli, I like to leave in big pieces. Normally, if you're a wok cook in a Chinese American restaurant, you would blanch the broccoli. Um, we're also not gonna do that. We'll just cook it in the wok. All the broccoli stems, uh, let's just shave, okay? And use the stems too. Okay, just make sure you're cutting the uh, outer woody part out. And this broccoli is like a little bit sweeter. We'll save this stem for another day, okay? And also, be careful of aphids. Aphids, okay. All right, beautiful. What are aphids, Alpha? Aphids are like little bugs that attack plants. Oh, yeah. Let me just eat some. There's another one that's got a mouth Okay, beautiful. Okay, so we're, uh, we're making like an aromatic oil real fast and that now we're gonna add our chicken. We'll cook our chicken and you'll see how quick this whole process is, okay? Energy, right? Yeah, and now we can turn this up to five, okay? Because now we have our chicken in and the chicken basically cools cools the pan down, okay? And once you see the chicken cooking, it'll it'll really uh, look like uh, your Chinese American food you're used to. Okay. Beautiful. And if you cut the chicken too big, you can just make it smaller in this pan, in the wok, okay? All right, so now let's add our mushrooms, because the mushrooms have a, a good amount of water in it. So we want to cook those out. Don't worry about getting any color really on it. Okay, that's not, we're just like looking to cook everything. Oh, you, you left one raspberry in the fridge. Okay, so now we want to put salt on it, okay? Salt will help draw the water out of the mushrooms, okay? Beautiful, and now we can turn it up even more, okay? Yeah, you can have some crackers. Oh, we forgot to make our slurry, so let me do that. Ow! You stepped on my foot. I didn't step under. Okay, so a uh, little bowl, cornstarch, just a little bit, and this is going to help you uh, make your sauce thick, okay? Cornstarch and just a little bit of water. All right, so now it's like smoking, smoking. 
getting pretty hot, so let's turn it down, okay? It doesn't need to be this hot. And to help cool the pan down too, let's add our broccoli, okay? And we don't wanna add too much soy right now, or we don't wanna, I'm sorry, we don't wanna add too much salt because we're gonna add soy to this and kinda make a sauce, okay? Yeah. I just love it. Okay. Beautiful. A little bit of water. Make your slurry. Just mix it up. And no matter how good you mix it now, uh, before you add it, you got to mix it again because, uh, the uh, cornstarch will settle to the bottom. Okay. Okay, and now we're like, we're scorching a little bit, so let's add a, just a touch more fat, okay? About a tablespoon more oil. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's add the scallion last. We don't have to cook the scallion as much. Okay. Beautiful. And now everything's like pretty much, I would probably say like 75% cooked, except for the scallion. Okay, so now we wanna add our, I would add a little bit of our mirin for sweetness. Okay, and we'll add a little water too. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. Can I have some corn pop too? Yeah, Charlie, are you been helping me with the video? Or you have eaten snacks. Okay. Well, the video is almost done. Okay. All right, and any any large pieces of chicken, feel free to like break them up now. Um, the the baking soda helps with uh, the keeping keeping the chicken nice and moist and tender. Okay, it's definitely a different texture than uh, most people are used to with chicken breast. Okay. Okay. What do you need me to help with? Okay, so now is uh we can add our seasoning. Oh, I want to add it. Okay, add a little bit of soy. Uh, like uh, a glug. What's a glug? You'll see. Ready? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Glug. Okay. So that was about, uh, uh, I'd say about a tablespoon, I'd say probably two, two to three tablespoons of soy, okay? And depending on how much you're making. And just like anything else, you can always add more, right? So now we have our liquid in the bottom of the pan. You see how much liquid there is? So that's gonna create a sauce. I know it doesn't look classic right now, and it's not, um, but once we add our uh, stock or our, our, our slurry to it, it'll all make sense, okay? So let's taste it for seasoning now. Okay. Oh, really good. Might be a little bit, I'd say it's a, a touch salty. Um, we'll just add a little more sweetness to it. Okay, and then remember the uh, slurry's got a lot of water to it, so it'll help dilute. Okay, so we'll be fine, perfect with the seasoning. Okay, so now is when I like to take everything and kind of move it to the outside. All right. So you see all the liquid in the center is boiling, and this is where we add our sauce, or our uh, slurry, okay? Because the slurry needs to boil to be at its ma maximum thickness uh, for the sauce. Ready? I don't think you taste this slurry. Nah, you don't want to taste this. It's just cornstarch and water. Okay, yeah. so see it already thickening up? You see the bubble starting to slow down a little bit, okay? 
There you go. Look at that. Look at how thick that is, okay? You don't want it to be too thick. You just want it to kind of coat all the vegetables. So you want your cornstarch to uh, hit maximum thickening power, and that, that's when you want to glaze your vegetables, okay? And there you have it. That's it. Super easy. Okay? Let's turn this off. All right. And let's plate it up, okay? So we'll put it right here, okay? And I wanna show you, okay? You see how glossy it is? Okay, you see how glossy? It's like the, the sauce is uh, sticking to all the meat and the vegetables. That's what you're looking for, okay? And then it just goes right on the plate. Okay, and serve it with white rice, brown rice, wild rice, whatever you want. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. All right, doesn't that look delicious? Real quick, real easy, right? Chicken and broccoli. We added mushrooms too and scallion, okay? All right, thanks for watching our cooking video, guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Say bye, see.